Hey guys, welcome back to Tell Me Why. Last time that we left off, we finished all of chapter two and it was kind of like left on this cliffhanger of who is Tyler and Allison's dad. It got super dark, super dark really fast, kind of assuming that Mary Ann, she clearly has some drug issues, Mary Ann being their mother. But aside from that, she was also kind of being harassed. I am super hungover today. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm exhausted, but I really want to play this. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure that this is the last chapter in the game, so she's gonna hit the fan. Let's just get into it, guys. Whew, I had like a whole bottle of wine Once yesterday. Upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. The Mad Hunter. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. Mm -hmm. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin. Oh, and yet yeah. Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper yep. until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. I forgot, Allison, she kind of like broke down. And that was how the goblins Last found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. Yeah, Allison's not happy. She's kind of... She's kind of one of those people that doesn't want to face um, the reality of everything because it's so heavy and it's so hard to digest, which there's nothing wrong with that. She's just Wake up. struggling. Uh, okay. Just checking my sound, guys. We have a nightmares now. even thought that she was the one who killed her mom this entire time. You killed me. Which isn't true. Sleepwalking. Are we still in a dream? No, we're definitely still in a dream. Oh God. She almost looks like six in that yellow raincoat. forward and find a new place for herself in this world where she was no longer truly a princess and a tiara and a beautiful gown but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood this game is so pretty I forget every single time how pretty this game is You 
kill me! She's having some really bad nightmares. That's for sure. I miss Tyler. I missed him. I really like the main characters a lot. But especially Tyler. I really like Tyler. He's cool. He's cool. Man, I feel like my, my sound is super off, but... Maybe it's fine. I'm just being paranoid because I'm out of it. Oh, this song. Probably gonna have to swap out this song, guys. Eddie. God damn, you wearing some tight ass pants, Eddie. Got that booty. Oh. We kinda made amends with Eddie as Tyler. I mean, like, roughly. We tried a bit. No, why didn't no oh. Damn, he writes really fast. She's clearly not talking to Tyler at all. Oh look, there's that eye up there. That's weird. Alright, let's read this. Morning, I started collecting the documents you need for your rental application. Left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet Dee for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy today, Uncle Eddie. P.S. My famous buck up buck wheat waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. Okay. Hey, he's being nice. He's right. Time to get my shit together. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Dayondo! What's this stuff? What's this? Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe oh. do a detox for 12. I forgot that she smoked. Wait, is this just the bathroom in here? Oh, it is, yeah. Why do I want to look at dirty clothes? <sighs> There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. That's eyeshadow, honey. Okay, like you can't put that under your eyes. You're gonna look like a clown. <laughs> this is just not how that works. All right, let's leave. Wait, wait, wait. I kind of want to look at these. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? <sighs> I gotta think about something else. I wouldn't say that they're total opposites. Oh, oh, what? No. Okay. I think I was just pressing the wrong button. Listen, we need to get away from the song. Okay? It's copyrighted. We don't want it. What's this? Um, there's a bunch of pictures. What Eddie is that? looks so young here. Oh, Eddie. The days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. What the- <gasps> Oh god, that scared me. Wait! I should probably eat something. I feel so weak. No, 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 where to go? 
Oh, maybe she needs to eat food. Why are we looking at boots? So many months of snow boots ahead. Okay, let's see what this is. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Uh, Dr. Chief Brown, thank you so much for bringing our children home safe last weekend. Oh, okay. It's like a letter about Eddie helping people. Eddie's not a bad guy. I need to get. I was scared of him for together. a little bit. Like maybe I was like, help me focus and. I wish maybe Eddie's mom did could have wrong, taught me how to do this. No. What taught you how to do what? Look at a basket. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. Do laundry. Clean. What are you talking about? Okay, there's food. I want to look at everything, and I'm scared that if I. I can't really eat anything right now. But you just said you're hungry. You need to. It's look fantastic. You can't fucking waste waffles. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. Oh, Emily, Allison, how could you do this to me? Uh oh. Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. Uh oh. ID and pay stubs. Okay, ID and pay stubs. Lunch with D. Bunch of stuff that doesn't matter at all. Some of the stuff I don't even know why we can click on. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of like, what is happening? Michael special creamery, creamery, creamy crab hot pot. Okay, so you see like it's an ingredient list. I don't, I don't think we need that yet. Oh. Eddie says there's a plant for every pain, except heartache. It looks like Nutella over there. Do you guys like Nutella? I used to love that shit. Can't have it no more. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. What is this? This is a creepy Must photo. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. I don't know, that Anywhere. looks like... It's supposed to be old, but like, they didn't age it right, and so it almost looked like a Halloween picture. <gasps> what if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. Ah, here's oh, here my go. ID. Oops, oops, oops. That's, yep, don't put that back. <laughs> Let's pick it up. We need to take that with us. Yes. And now we need pay stubs. Oh. This place was <gasps> never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. Wait, what? All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? What? You're not my child. You never what said this. Better. But he, that never happened, Allison. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Weird. She's really, like, going through it right now. It doesn't make sense because they're not even memories. God. The world feels so fucking small right now. Why am I looking at that? I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Jesus. What's this? I haven't had any time to sketch lately. Okay. Sketchbook. Mm. Records. Let's not touch those because I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Allison, please. Wait, what? Come on, Allison. Oh, don't uh -oh. start. Did I accidentally mess that up? I think I did. Jukebox. What's this? Okay. Where would my pay stubs be, though? And what is this? Why is she... Why is she say that she wishes someone would have... Oh, maybe weave the basket. Maybe that's what she meant. Like... She wished someone would have taught her to weave a basket. That makes a bit more sense. Because I was like, I don't really know what that would be. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. God, feels like my head's full of screeching monkeys right now. What's all this? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, what's this? Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Yeah, that was really nice of him. We learned that last time as well, that Eddie basically paid for Tyler to go to, um, I don't know, was it considered juvie? Is that what it was? But it was like a nice place to help him out. Is something going on in there? Is this Eddie's room? Whose room is this? This is personal. Are we gonna read it? My dearest son, I know I'm not getting better this time, so I wanted to write a few things down for you. I'm sorry to be leaving you so soon. I had you late in my life, but I still thought there would be more time. It makes me happy to know you will have the clan when I'm gone and you will have your auntie to look after you. You've always seemed to know when it was time to leave from the time you were a year old. You knew which shoes belonged on which feet and you used to bring me mine whenever I was getting ready to go somewhere. I could never figure out how you knew I was ready to leave, but there you'd be, with my shoes every time. You never cried or made a fuss, just helped me on my way. I hope this leaving will be just as easy. And though I won't need you to fetch me my shoes, I know you'll help me on my way. Your strength has always been to accept what is and do what needs to be done. I'm so proud of you for joining the police force. People are going to look to you as a leader now, and I know you won't let them down. Please help the young people remember our way of life. We have thrived as people since time before memory because of our cultural values. Don't let them lose that. Also remember how important it is to attend to everyone, not just the ones who fit in. It is our way to lift each other up. Everyone has something to offer to the community. They may not even see it in themselves, so you've got to show them. Help them along their path so you've always, or as you've always done. Remember when you uplift others, it makes you stronger too. Aw, mom. Oh, yeah. sand. Oh. What's going on with you lately? If you need help... Why? Nothing. This is nothing. Why am I seeing some of this stuff? It makes no sense. Wait, what? He plays... I haven't heard him play in a while. Is that the trumpet? It just Trombone. sits there collecting dust. Not the trumpet, Jesus Christ. I... Uh, listen. A secret keeper in her secret key. Was Maybe this? there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. What? How did I get to the Book of Goblins again? I don't... There we go. Um, Secret Keeper. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I think we're here already. Goblins earned their voice once upon a time in the deep and ancient forest. The crafty goblin spied on the Secret Keeper as she made her rounds. Oh yeah, we read this before. The animals the forest had for sale. Does she get people's secrets? Yeah, that's how we got her voice, but... She only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Maybe not. It has to be in here. Yeah, because it's got the eye, but like, we've already read this. Hmm. There are so many stories. Index? Yeah, I don't know. What? What? That has to be it, though. Why would my pay subs be in his room, though? Nothing is making sense. I want to open this. A secret keeper and her secret key. Looks like this is coin operated. Oh, there we go, finally. Coin operated. Coin operated. So I need a coin. Looks like this is coin operated. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like we've seen coins somewhere here already. Right? Stop sulking. Focus. I'm 
still missing some things. Yes, you are. Was there coins in here? I swear we saw a coin somewhere. Maybe it was upstairs on her desk. Might have been upstairs. No, 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 we have coins here. Thank you very much. Oh wait, should we probably pick those keys up? What if I just packed a bag and oh, left? No. Never looked back. You can't do that, Allison. We got too much stuff to figure out, okay? We can't run forever. I know it's hard, but she's gonna have to come to terms with stuff eventually. She'll live her entire life feeling this way. All right. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Yes. But what did that have to do with the book? I mean, to me, no it... way. It worked. Oh, it's a collectible. You just gonna put that in your butt pocket? It's gonna be hard to sit down. Well, that has nothing to do with what we were looking for. Um, we need our pay stubs. Our, maybe we should thoroughly check this. I don't know. We probably need to look upstairs. What's that? Hmm. Claire? I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. Uh, Eddie. Oh, and then she picks it up. I shouldn't be snooping in here, and then she's like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and move it? Why you move that like that? What the hell, Allison? He's gonna know that we were just in there. Claire? Is that his new girlfriend? I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories. He wouldn't listen. Right. I need my pay stubs. Uh oh. <laughs> Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> I didn't leave you, I swear. What the hell is wrong with me? It's kind of strange that this is happening to her. Like, I don't know what exactly... Why she... I mean, like, she's faced so much trauma, so I get that. Not here. But, um... It's weird because some of it is... It's not even, like, real memories. They're just... Random things that... Her brain is kind of making up. Yes, there, there we go, are. we got it. We got sit. We did sit. All right. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Cool. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Is it downstairs? Why were you down here last night? That's kind of weird. What were you doing? her mom. My dove. Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Allison. What the? Huh. No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. I mean, that seems like her mom's trying to talk to her. She's trying to say you need to freaking talk to Tyler, okay? 
It's definitely not in here. Why am I searching that? <laughs> I can hear that it's over there. I was just looking at stuff. I don't know what the hell that stuff is. It's gotta be in here somewhere. No! No phone here. Um... What's it doing here? There it is. I don't know. Did you answer it? Is it Tyler? Tell him I miss Baby. him. Finally. Oh, I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Was yeah, was Tyler. I'm sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll it, be there. She pushed me All back. Right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> okay. Get it together, Allison. Come on. You got Grab this. Grab the file, get dressed. Wait, what file? And head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. We're gonna... My hands are still shaking. <sighs> make a gift? Oh my god, we can make a gift? Let's do it. Like, are we gonna just start carving something right here? I didn't know that she knew how to do that. Oh, that sound. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, that was like nails on a chalkboard. No. Her mom was like really into this. D loves her dog. I think D is the the woman with the huskies. All right, we've got the gift. We've got everything. Oh, how do we walk faster again? I can never remember. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. Coconut cake. I'm gonna cake. head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Oh. Just jumping okay. just a little bit. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? Oh, let's just be honest. We had a fight. We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. You were so happy he was coming home. Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. <clears throat> so, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just... It was kind of really scary. Needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. It's kind of scary. Especially Tyler. The twins looked like borderline evil oh, of for course, a second. Of course. She gets that. Tessa scared me. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course, uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I mean, he does. Oh. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. I think he does. Oh, of course. I mean, like I said, I'll let you rest. Tyler and her Tell both Michael do things there's no need to kind of in back. the wrong a bit. Okay. It's it's definitely not one-sided. Take care. They both do some shit. Tyler's a little bit blinded by things. Sorry for abandoning you out there. 
Oh, coffee Pro sounds tip, so good. Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. It's too late for me to get coffee though, it's 5 p.m. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. Gross. Spicy chocolate's gross. What's up with him? Well, you're free now. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, <laughs> good. Because I did not plan to. <sighs> I've been overdoing on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. Okay. Eat your waffles, Allison. They look good. Eat Help them. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's no, Eddie's they're way of mine. saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. Good, because I didn't want you to eat them anyways. <sighs> Allison needs I'm to eat them. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I don't know. That I just face feel is like cuddling kind of up scary. in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Michael, you're scaring me. I, uh, I've been kind of freaking out on repeat today. What do you mean? It's hard to describe, but I just can't calm down. You ever try any of that affirmation type shit? What's that? Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. Oh. That I'm a great person and my feelings are valid. <sighs> this will pass. I'm a great person. No, my not like that. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but that's a good start. Allison. That's a good way to think. What's going on? Um, Tyler and I fought. Yeah, let's just... Uh, I just feel like Tyler we and I gotta be blunt. Just tell the truth. Night. I was so excited to have him back, but... I'm that type of person, actually. like ten years just was too much? Tell people And we're too different. Truth. I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Just hang out. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> I don't know why we weren't looking at each other. It was so, like really creepy. Maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh god. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um, the ghost of her to... is like... Literally I, I speaking just to, to sit her down. now. Oh, that's scary. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Tell Michael about the memories. Don't tell Michael about. You, you know what? We're gonna be honest. God, God, everything. No beating around the bush. My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick. And here. And I've been seeing things. Aww. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids. And Eddie, and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. Aww. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Come here, Allie. You need to talk to your you. brother. Okay, I hear you.
He must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Yes, they fucking are. Well, it's bullshit. It should not be that expensive because you know I, I think we all need it. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. I think even if you're not going through hardships, Look, everybody should have a therapist talk to you. I know you hate letting you. people down, just think but you it's gotta healthy. put your own oxygen mask on it's first. For your mental health. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. You've got I'm to go sure see him. To face him. Yeah, listen. If you want, I could go out there. Yes. See how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah. Yes. You come with. Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. Oh, they, sure? they already like each other. Yeah, of course. Quite a lot. I don't mind trying. Don't worry about patch it. things up between you two. We like threw stuffed toys oh, at each I'm other's heads, for my lunch Allison. With I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hmm. I wonder what he's thinking. It feels like he's like... Like he knows maybe something. Something seems off, doesn't it? He seemed a bit confused. Shit, I'm getting confused. I don't know what's going on. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. I don't know uh, if that's what I you am? should say to somebody. That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. It's like when, when you don't wear makeup and people mm. are like, are you sick? You look tired. I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's just my face. Morning. Where's his cobbler? Hello, Miss Ronan. Hi. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here? Ooh, these look like wild berries. Can I eat them? Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, Ooh. yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Why can't I eat? I thought I heard something about peach cobbler. There's a cookie. Why can't I only look at food? I want, I want foods. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Just needed to yeah. drop off some paperwork with Eddie. Uh, the chief's busy right now. Oh. But you could leave him in his mail slot. Okay. Wait. Where is the mail slot, though? Is it upstairs? Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, because we broke in. I know, I understand. Sounds like Eddie's busy. Uncle's in there. <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. Oh, cool. I probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but... But I want to! No more snooping. Isn't that that guy that I keep saying I think is their dad? I think he's a bad dude. Yeah. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Allison, you're talking to yourself. Correct. Season's closed in most places around here. What's the job? 
I'm totally eavesdropping. So that moose we found in your truck, you offered to put that in your permit zone, did you? Of course I did. Unless some goddamn poacher calmed down for you. <laughs> you found it all back. I love that response, like, oh, uh, Eddie, Jesus. I wonder how Uncle's feeling Calm down, about sir. me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Okay, everything's done. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon, I won't be much longer. Break room, break room, let's go look at these cookies that look like pancakes. Is anyone ever gonna clean these up? I guess they're really old and we don't want them. Wash your own cups and dishes. Don't tell me what to do. Gonna sing a song, where the fuck? This is the break room, right? Yeah, this is the break room. What else do we do? Can't go in there. Yeah, it's the locker room. Can I eat? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you need to eat food, Allison. It's good for you. Especially, this looks really good. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Eat it. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh... You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? I fucking love cobbler. It's so good. What now? Hey, Gregs. Crime and Della's Crossing, vacation plans. Crime? Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing? What the hell is that? What are they talking about? I'm sorry, Gregs. They're talking about none of your business, no, no, young no. lady. No, I need to know. Eavesdrop. Well, Dr. Torres, it seems like you've cracked the case of the mailbox bandit. I didn't realize he was so infamous. Wait, you, how did you no catch him? see you there spying, With your bare right? hands? No. Hey, Gregs. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the criminal I just wanted to of know. Delos Crossing been I up just to lately? To know. Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Just a little nosy. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. I don't like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Hmm. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Will you eat the rest of your cobbler? What's what that? are you having? Trout pie and, uh... Black radish. Trout pie. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. I'm gonna tell everybody. Grace is having peach cobbler. Oh, wait, it's actually a berry cobbler. <gasps> wait, can I? We haven't had a three-pointer coffee break in a while. <laughs> you remember how that one shot of yours went wild and smashed the picture of old Chief Burke? Yep. Mm. Couldn't show my face around here for a week. <laughs> Well, I'll let you in on a secret. Most people hated Burke anyway. Your dad's a far better chief than he ever was. <sighs> okay. Whew. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. Yeah? And guess who it was? Uh, wait, what? An animal? A kid. Was it an animal? Hmm. An animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? I... <laughs> kind of. Anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Devil's kind of. Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Hmm. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably oh. Probably I take a rain check. Oh, okay. Oh, it's it's okay. Totally. I Can understand. Can I see it? I want to see the record. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little this is something incredibly awkward. to make up for missing your birthday. Oh yeah, the little carving. She's it's gonna not love much, it. But... 
Oh, you're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? You're kidding. I love it. Look at two <laughs> seconds. Put it away. So <laughs> that seemed like the fakest shit ever. Bella's Dee, you didn't have to lie to me, okay? You, girl. She didn't love it at all. Oh, come on. This conversation. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. So weird. This man, he's got like cement on his head. It's like you oh, literally have a stone. My lunch plans. It's like on hey, your head. Your brother didn't tag along today? No. Can we not he talk about it? show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then that was pretty both much assaulted your uncle. Okay. Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. Uh, well, I mean, oh. we did what we had to because he wouldn't tell us the truth. We did what we had to to get what we needed. Yeah. All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, you're even when we really want them to. Literally a rock on your Look, head. I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, <gasps> I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. What is going on? I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you. I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. What is happening? Oh my God. That gave me super creepy vibes. Legit panic attack. Oh. Okay. You got this. Okay. I've been here before. This will pass. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. I don't understand. Oh. Hold to match the expanding circle. Okay. Um, I've had panic attacks in my life as well. Because I get crazy anxiety sometimes. Guys, they're awful. I just need to breathe in and out. Follow. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Oh my god. This is really hard. You got this. Oh god, it's so hard. I'm so focused. I'm so focused. Oh, she's calming down. That was legit, like, a real panic attack. Oh god, oh god. I can't talk, can't, can't think. One more. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. We need to call Tyler. Jesus, Allison, come on. We did I'm okay. it. I'm okay. That was intense. Are you okay? No. Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. 
We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, uh... Sam. I went back to the house and... Got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... Aww. This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Pain attacks really do be like that, though. They're bad. Allison? Eddie! What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I love I just Eddie. needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> uh, no, you 100% did. That was not an I think. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. No, he's a good guy. With a really tight pants on. My goodness, look at that fucking booty. Mm -mm. Mm. Eddie got some cake. <laughs> oh Jesus. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... Why are you sorry for? God, I'm embarrassed. You shouldn't be sorry. Like, you had a panic attack. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No, Tyler isn't a no. bad person. It wasn't him. God. It was me. Why does everybody ask if it's Tyler? Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. They've helped each other, okay? Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. It's not true. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. It will always haunt you unless you tell the truth. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but it never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uncle. It was me. It needs to happen. I is the one who had the scissors. What? what? Yeah. What, what are you saying? It was time. She, she was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He was trying to help her. He, he went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. Please, Eddie, don't get mad, Eddie. <laughs> no. 
Eddie. Oh, no. <laughs> How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake. I know. They were just kids. But we were in shock. But I guess, like, as she got older... And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. This is heavy, man. Keeping that inside all these years. Yeah. They pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Aww. It's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. <laughs> I should have seen it. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> He's a good guy. So sorry. None of this was fair to you, too. <laughs> this hug is a little weird, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's just like a weirdly positioned hug, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Then again, like... Thank you, Uncle. Yeah. Right. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. Yes. I'm yes. I'm really tired. This is what I've been saying this entire time. She needs to let it out. Gotta start confronting it and, and telling the truth and... I was remembering something earlier. Allowing people in. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. He brought our goblins? How close was he to Marianne? He was very close to Marianne. Did, did, is that what he brought? I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. Okay. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's I don't a think possibility, it is. but I never I found any proof, so. no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. Yeah, I don't think Sam is our biological father. I think it's that really crappy dude poaching you, animals. Uncle. He just, like... Thank you for everything. Came out of nowhere. I'll call you later. He's, he's not even from this town. Seems like a bad dude. And we met him in, like, the very beginning of the game. It seems like some weird foreshadowing. You know what I'm saying? I think it was that guy. Which sucks for them because their father is a total jerk. All right, guys, so I uh, I stopped recording last time we were playing because I was honestly way too hungover. I could, I could feel myself just like starting to get this migraine. I was like, I need to just come back when I'm refreshed and mentally like ready for it. So we're gonna get right back into it on a different day. Just like pretend I'm wearing the same clothes. Visualize I don't the know. outcome you want. All right, so we're back with Allison. Tyler? Are you there? Okay. Guess we're still doing that. Oh. So her and Tyler, they're still 
fighting. And she just got done having a crazy panic attack. I do remember that. It was super intense, really scary, felt really real. I don't know if you guys have ever had a panic attack before, but that's exactly kind of how it feels. Like the whole world is about to implode. All right, let's see if we can find anything. Read. Out of order, go around. Can I look inside though? Is he in there? Good, he's here. Oh, this is, is that Sam? That's not Tyler. Oh, okay, so I guess we're in search of Sam to ask him some questions, but Tyler's still ignoring us, kind of like blocking us off a bit, which I think is really weird. I don't think Tyler would do that. Even if they were fighting, I don't think he would do that. We should probably go find him, but no. She wants to talk to Sam. Probably about their dad, maybe. It's been a couple days, okay. Look how pretty. It's beautiful. Okay. Visualize the, all right. Oh. Let's do this. <laughs> Literally interrupting herself. I'm trying to, okay, I'm messing with Mike, sorry. Mm. Fuck it. I already got the lifters in there. Oh, Allie, I... <laughs> you all right? Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you have yeah, COVID? Do I need to, like, stand back here? I'm, I'm a little scared. What are you doing? Ah, Six feet. Cousin Billy bought Six an old feet. motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <laughs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? Uh, just checking on you. I wanted to talk. Let's, uh, I wanted to talk. I was hoping to. Let's be blunt, uh, straightforward. I actually wanted to. It's kind of how I check am. Check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right. It's uh, not. Here she is. What? The hell? Can I talk to you? So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? Are you You've my dad? Known us for a while. <laughs> Your whole lives. I don't think you that he is. You all over my slick denim button up. That's a nice memory. Yeah. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh, never mind. Uh, where's your brother? Um, we had a fight. We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up, right up till the end. What? What happened to your little brother? So, um. You doing wandering around in the middle? Oh my of God. Day. Okay. Listen. I'm... What is this? This article Alaskan about ocean, ocean acidification is oh. really unnerving. Okay. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but <laughs> we sure as hell are going there. Spain. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Um... Physically painful. Honestly, physically painful. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So he can throw his back out? <laughs> Not better. Oh, Sam. I'm a strong woman. Okay, I can lift stuff, too. What, you eating pizza with a fork? The fuck? Is that bacon on there, too? You have a slice of what looks like... Bacon and a pizza with a fork. God damn, I love pizza, but not with a fork. What's this? Rusty ass junker. Am I gonna help him fix it? Oh, Luca, let's not start. He's already like trying to start borking. What's this? Oh, that's a really nice sextant. 
Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Impressive collection. If you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Um, I'd rather not. I'm okay. Folding is my, my thing. Let's see, what else we got? Oh yeah, let's just snoop through all this shit. What's in here? I think we're getting, we're trying to, are we trying to get supplies to help fix his engine or whatever? Whatever it is he's working on, I think it's an engine. I don't know. Motor? Something. It's a something. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it's time for annual haul out. Haul out? What's that? Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. And I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so it's taking a while. Here, take this thing that I don't know what it's Will used for. Help? Oh, uh, thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Oh. oh princess. <laughs> Did call us a princess. For fuck's sake, what's in here? Was there a red can in here? Hey, what's that? Yes, give me that. What is this, like, WD-40? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. Let's go give this to him. I'm uncomfortable. I'm gonna fidget a lot. I'm sorry. My back. We did it. Good. Now, well, let's see. Should be just about... Well. Uh, <laughs> pass me that wrench, will ya? Sam? Oh. Are you our father? <gasps> oh my goodness. <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Wow, she just she just fucking went for it. You go, Allison, you go. Well, I wish I was. Aww. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Allie. It's a no. But the man you're looking for. He ain't me. That's oh, that response was actually very sweet. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. That's true. Stop lying, but you were so close. Well, why why does she think he's lying? I don't think he's lying. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? Oh. I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. So he's not a bad guy. Something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never. Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about it. Guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't. I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. Aww. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Hmm. Time to snoop through all your Come shit. Come in. Oh, yup. When was the last time you cracked a window? Oh, it stinks in here. That's disgusting. 
No, no, Looking I gotta look sharp at everything. first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow, I had no idea I you were so worldly. I think lost some dialogue. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship. Look at this! What do you do on board? Oh, I worked the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull. Ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Let's open this window, because it fucking reeks in here, Sam. God damn. Look at her. She's literally, she needs to breathe fresh air. That's how much better. bad it is in here. That's scary. That is scary. It's almost like Luca. It's a rank ass. Alright. Um... Marianne was probably like, you just, you just stink. Like, if you just take a shower, then it'll be fine. He's like, no. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Uh, you want to take a seat? I'm looking at everything that is yours. Hero Boat Captain Saves Crew member. Samuel Kansky, the 29-year-old captain of the... Oh, shoot, I can't say that. Anyak? Anyak? Rose didn't think twice before jumping into the ice-cold, choppy waters of Mitchell Point to save members of his crew after their vessel capsized off the coast of, uh, Jun Juneau, Alaska? I always say that wrong. Holy shit, he's a hero. Sam is, like, a really good guy. He's just dirty and stinky and hey, come have a look. doesn't understand, like, progressive thoughts but it doesn't mean that he doesn't want to try. He just says things sometimes that are off. $150. For what? Oh, pay to the order of... Wait, for why? Oh, talk to mom. She said you were having some trouble. It's not much, but hopefully it's enough to put some food in the fridge. Aww. He's struggling. Why is there a burnt-up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that... Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad what? you're still with us. Oh my god. You could have died. God, I'm fidgeting so much. What else is there? What's this? Salmon casserole. Who gave you this? We don't need to read that. There's dirty dishes over here, Sam. And a fucking pizza box. Why is a pizza box down there? You know, you could at least try. What's this? Meal plan. Oh, he, oh, he is trying to eat some better stuff. Yogurt and fruits. Oh. Love this picture of your mama. Listen. I think I can come sit now. I just had to look at all What's your all shit. This? Here. I, uh, kept a few things. Incredibly nosy. Can I see? Can I? She looks happy. Oh, what a sweet picture. She was. was that them both? Oh, my heart. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. The barn at Wait, her house, right? The barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? Oh, what? she didn't tell us. Oh my goodness. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Whoa. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Are you drinking in the well, day? Are you really gonna go through with this? 
Sam, put that down. It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that, it's all we got left. Oh, he's really struggling with the loss of their mom, still. You can't just throw it away. It's been years and he's, he's still very upset. Let Marianne go. Come on, why you be so ruthless? Can't be that ruthless. I didn't get to look at the other picture. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. It has been a very, very What's long done time. Is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it. I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. It's stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, uh, she has not having none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. My heart. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. Ugh. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. He so loves her uh, after all this time. Remember. Well, wow, he's really drunk. <laughs> that was fast. Holy shit. That was really sad. Oh, my heart. He doesn't want to let her go. It's not healthy for him. It's incredibly sad. It's incredibly sad. Oof, I don't know how she didn't cry from that. Nothing gets me, like, I don't know, more emotional than, like, love and true love and, and stuff like that. I'm a huge sap. I'm a huge hopeless romantic. Hmm. That's beautiful. Oh, Tyler. I'm going to kill you! Hey, Tyler. I've been looking all over the place for you. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. It's she was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Let him help. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. We're gonna go fishing? Was that you? Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. The so, you in? Knew it. I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. 
got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Michael's taking the lead, man. He's leading. It's nice. I like it. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Now they just sit and wait. I wonder how cold it is. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man. Aww. I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out. It's some beautiful. fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right. Right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? We weren't that close, everyone moves on. Let's say that. People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well. There's a reason we think of families as Tyler, trees. why are you being so standoffish? We keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got Plank. a bite. You got this. A real man. Wait, what? Come on, pull up on the rod. Oh, God. Hold to keep the marker in the sweet spot. <sighs> Reel him in. Complete the circle to catch the fish. Oh, okay. Wow, that was incredibly easy. No, give it a nice pull. <laughs> got it. We're going fish! Hey! Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. What's that? Kind of looked like a salmon, I don't First know. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh, well, the sun goes <laughs> down pretty fast. Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Hmm. Cool. I'll wow, set he... my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Michael is smooth. Taking the lead. Hey, what's this? You got anything good in there? Maybe. But who says I'm willing to share? Hey. Okay, fine. Be that way. What's this? So, ice fishing. I mean, yeah. What isn't there to like about standing in the middle of a frozen lake? I just want to talk right, to you. Here we go. Oh, there's another one. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this one's going to be like a, a lot more complicated. It makes it look so weird because I'm... Struggling with it. Okay. I feel like fishing is really calming. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. Well, two fish so that we can cook dinner together. So, mm -hmm. about last night, mm -hmm. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was Aww. jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. 
Um, yeah, you pushed her too hard, Tyler. I'm gonna I know. be honest. It's probably my fault. I really pushed you her really last night. You really did. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Aww. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I didn't really think about that. I was the kid who killed his mom. Stop! I would never say that. Tyler ain't that I freaking guess I didn't really think about that. Selfish, okay? I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me, too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Hmm? Got a bad left shoulder. Oh, <laughs> I'll keep don't it in mind, mind if I do. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't mind, can, can, um, can... What now? So, what are you going to make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. Slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, Oof. walnuts. It sounds so good. Just a drop of olive oil. Pure perfection. As my so partner good. in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me. I'll pass. Um, yeah, not passing. What the fuck? Works for me, partner. Food. Food. Don't you say anything. I oh, got this. shit. We have another fish. So it's probably gonna be even harder. Oh, does that mean we can give one to Allison? If she comes over. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how, how shitty I am at it. Don't let it escape. It makes him like. He looks so weird because I'm trying to freaking hold it. No. Mm mm. Uh uh. There, right there. Yes. Come on, Tyler. You got this. Just jump, jitter with your arms a little bit. <laughs> it looks so. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. Me? Oh, whoa! Bam! Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> nice. I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Why? Can I ask you something kind of weird? And maybe hard to answer. Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You got to be willing to take a hit. Look. I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was Look dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Not now! Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. Oh, Hard to argue with that. You still want to risk it with me. It's just not for me. What do you mean? You still want to risk it with me? Are we assuming? Let's say it. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth the chance. Don't you? What is happening with... Is it drifting? We're in total agreement. We're in total agreement here. I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. <laughs> you are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. 
So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. I caught... What do you mean? I caught three fish. They're cute. They're cute. Let's cook. It's time to cook. Hey. Tyler's you're so missing pretty. the show. What? Yes! Yes! Do it! Do it! Do it! You okay? How romantic. Aww. Man, Michael is smooth as fuck. Now that's a date. That's really nice. Hmm. <laughs> they just watched the sunset together. So cute. So cute. Oh no, meanwhile Allison is crying. We need to go help her, please. Oh, okay, she, well, she's just upset. Still. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, is one way to put it. Uh oh. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. But the uh, fish! Call me later. You know I will. F f f food? Oh. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Oh. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. I was just about to say, they need to hug it out. Like, I, I feel like you don't even need words in that moment. Just a God, hug. Why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. There's a weird loft. Can we sit down for a sec? Oh, wait, did she already go up there? Uh... What's so, happening? This jacket just did something weird. I was just at Sam's. Oh, okay. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you believe him? Arson's not his style. Yeah, I don't think that's him. I'm not surprised. Burning he down also the helped barn build didn't really that barn. seem like a Sam move. He cares yeah, about this place. He wouldn't it was silly to mess suspect it up. him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Mary Ann first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam mm -hmm. told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As yep. far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. Uh, we and have a hidden to. Loft. That's got secret shit written all over it. Yes, it Let's does. Go. Let's go. I'm excited to go see what's in this loft. I want answers. Anything, please. Allison, out of my way. <laughs> Her head just like swiveled. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, How we got we our deadbeat there? dad to thank for that. So obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? There it is. Is it still here somewhere? A handle? Well, I mean, there's a ladder right here. <laughs> you wanna take another look at the picture? It might help. 
What do you mean a picture? Okay. Handle. Handle. If we don't have a ladder, how is that gonna help? What's I in here? thought I saw something right over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was ever a time to find a magic portal. What is this? Nothing here. Something red? Why can I look at this plank? For a second, I thought there might be another secret stash down here, but... Just a loose plank. The handle should be behind this. Oh? I didn't even know what I was looking for, honestly. Oh! oh there it is. Why? She went through great efforts. It's to opening do this. us. The secret um, keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. The ladders in the other Come on. room. Let's find a way to climb up there. Let's grab this. Thank you very much. This is bizarre. Oh my god. What is this? Can you see anything? Nope. Not a... What do you mean? There's a lot of stuff to see in this room, Allison. I don't know what you're talking about. This is bizarre. Here, found a switch. <gasps> oh. Once upon a time, there was a young princess who left, who uh, felt helpless. Holy shit. Is that what it says? Well, that shaved a few years off my life. Oh my god. What in the world? Is growling downstairs? This is creepy. She Whoa. made all of this. Oh no, is that a puzzle? It's her story. Oh, it's her story. Look. Interesting. She left us something. Because the book is all about the goblins. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well. You want to do this? Yeah. Let's start here. Okay. Start here. What do you mean? Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? Very old beavers repair list. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Um, here it is. Uh, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Huh? Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess. Yeah. It's like the goblins just threw Why their don't we try to find princess them all mom and, and see light. if it makes any sense. Okay. Find them all. Spot the differences. Well, I mean, this right it here. Moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories or after. Probably read yeah, that story. At some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. Let's read the story because I don't think we're going to understand context. Once upon a time, in a castle just beyond the ancient and deep forest, the Mad Hunter was punished by the Gold Lady for failing to return with the wise princess. For your failure, said the Gold Lady, I will take your left hand. You will return to the ancient and deep forest and hunt the wise princess. And if you can bring her back, I will return your hand to you. Fail again, I will take your right hand. The Mad Hunter could hunt with just his right hand, but if he lost both his hands, he would never be able to hunt again and would no longer be a Mad Hunter, but only a Mad Man. So the Mad Hunter returned to the ancient and deep forest, searching with his piercing eye for the wise princess. 
The crafty goblins were out searching for mischief when they saw the mad hunter on the prowl. We cannot let him find the princess, said the goblins, and so they devised a plan. It was wash day, and the princess had hung her beautiful gown out to dry. They stole it from the line and stuffed it full of straw, and then returned to where the mad hunter was scouring the paths of the forest. As the mad hunter turned down a path that would have led him to the big wooden house, the goblins danced the straw princess in and out of view in the opposite direction. The ruse worked, the hunter fixed his piercing eye on them and followed. Through the day and into the night, they led him away from the true princess. As night fell, the crafty goblins realized the error in their plan. The mad hunter was now hunting them. If he caught them, he would not be kind. So they put their heads together to come up with a plan. It did not take them long to realize where they should go. They led the mad hunter to the edge of the deep and icy lake, and when he came into view, they weighed the fake princess down with stones and dropped her into the frigid water. Careful not to plunge into the depths themselves, lest the moon hag take her revenge on them. The mad hunter removed his clothing and dove in after the fake princess. He followed the shape of the sinking princess deep into the chilly water, down below where ice covered the lake's, uh, blah, 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 the lake's surface. Finally, he caught her, but when he spun her toward him, he realized she had no head and that her body was stuffed with straw, and then he felt a slippery fin brush his shoulder as the moon hag loomed overhead. The next morning, the princess went to retrieve her gown from the clothing line and found that it was gone. She immediately suspected the goblins of mischief and called, Goblins, did you take my gown? The goblins emerged from their cave and nodded sadly. Now what will I wear? asked the princess, sad and angry that she had lost her only dress. Let us explain, said the goblins. So they told the princess the story of the mad hunter, and then they produced his clothing, which was a bit large for the princess, but much warmer than her beautiful gown. Interesting. She immediately forgave them. Thank you, my friend, she said, for rescuing me and for this clothing, which will keep me much warmer in the winter than my beautiful gown. The mad hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day he would emerge to once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. And that is the story of how the crafty golems rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. Okay. Okay. So he did have both his hands. That was before he he went to hunt her. What is this weird... Does his smile look different to you? Oh, did it? No. Mm. Maybe that branch looks a little bit different? <laughs> I don't know. Oh! I don't know about that. Now I'm just clicking everything. I don't think... These are like slight things, okay? Yeah, I don't think that goes there. It... It's just a random star. No special meaning. No. What's Why this? do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color know. of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home. And she grew up kind of rich? What? What's this do? Sure. Uh... Huh. A pink flower. This was tree was huh. never there. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the mad hunter. It's, uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. Yeah? I'm confused. I don't think there's any difference there. selecting what am i unselecting like even if the branch is a little different i don't really think that means anything do we not find all the differences huh. maybe not but the title is different yeah it is i don't Figured understand anything out yet i'm stumped uh, I'm totally stumped. Well, first off, the title's different, right? Yes. Yeah. Huh. Maybe not, but the title is different. Yeah, that's different. That's not different. Was the branch actually different? Like, I can't even... The branch is different. The star is not, and the snowflake's not different. Uh, 
I'm really grasping at straws here. Did she had that flower? Is that like a innocence lost kind of thing? Ugh, I'm really no. grasping at straws here. Never mind. That's nothing. Yeah, I am grasping at straws. I don't know the freak I'm looking at right here. Maybe not. Oh my god. I don't understand. I don't understand. Figured anything out yet? No. Nah, still figuring it out. The smile is not different though. I don't get it. It's just a random star. No special meaning. Wait. The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away. Just like the princess is here. Oh. I don't understand this. Jesus. Why don't we solve this one first? Because I don't understand it. <gasps> I'm okay. trying. Spot the differences. Yeah, I, well, I, here I it is. did. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the diff- Ugh, I'm really grasping that straw. Wait. Never mind. That's nothing. Even if the branch is a little different, I don't really- That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Tyler, see that little light? I don't know, we did it. Pictures, letters. Whoa. Oh, poor thing. My birdie Polly, I'll miss you forever. I can't believe she world? was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. It's like her entire Good past is here. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I Weird. Think that's her mom in the background. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So did Mary Ann grow up kind of rich? I think Maybe. she did. Would have been nice to have some of that. Did you know she studied engineering? No. What? She was it super looks smart. Like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. Marianne, I can't do this anymore. You deserve better than cliche bullshit. Like it's not you, it's me. But the truth is it's all just been too much to deal with and I've realized I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with all of this on our own without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different. The damage is done and it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry, you're an amazing person. You made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we've will both be better off apart. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Here, but I'm gone, Brent. <sighs> Oof. Oof, Could that's this guy brutal. Be any more cryptic? Yeah. Yeah. You think the guy with her is Brent? Probably. From the I would guess so. Environment over economy. Oh, yeah, that's what it says. Okay. All right, well, we got the gold lady. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. Her cruel parents She's kept her locked away in their musty the board. palace. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter wow. painting, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Oh, to what we found in there? She didn't like the bird. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. Um, all these she made her... The princess dancing, no, 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 no. Uh -oh. playing violin, spinning wool. Be a ballerina. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice she how unhappy her she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And, and she's being watched by the gold lady. I think he was an artist. Hmm. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's Yay, opening. we did it. Exciting. What's okay. in there this time? What is this? Picture of their house. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's so mm. young and happy. Yeah. Wow. 
She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. T stands for time clock repair. Okay, let him know. Wait. Wow. I let him know you were she interested for a in the house he's in selling. Juno before she okay. moved to Delos. No What's wonder she was so handy. Hold on, Tyler. We already heard you say that. Turn. Oh, shoot. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. From the good people so of Salmonberry Park. It's weird to imagine Park. her living in a community like Don't that. Don't be a stranger. Keep on looking with, for these answers you know, to the questions in your people. head to which you're blind. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Tyler, be nice. For like two seconds. Your mom seems like she went through a lot of shit and he's still like, why were you nice? Come Her on. father. Have some sympathy. <gasps> Marianne, I hope this letter finds you, but since you didn't leave any contact information, we'll have to send it to your aunt and hope for the best. I'm writing to inform you that your mother passed away last week. We just had her funeral reception. The house has been filled with people all day. Friends, family, colleagues, and church members. It's now 11 p.m. and I'm sitting alone at the kitchen table surrounded by dozens of trays of food and flowers and sympathy cards. Your cousin, Aidy, brought in a beautiful photo. Ugh, photo album full of our holiday pictures in La Connor. You're here in all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years and can only hope you made it to Alaska or wherever you are and that you and your child are both safe. So she got pregnant before she left. Your mother had been sick and depressed for years and you can imagine why. The pain of being shunned by her own daughter, knowing she would never get to see her grandchild grow up, spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely. All this suffering simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock after dropping out of college and without a penny to your name. Oof, oof. She only stepped up to help because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly. Mary Ann, a mother's duty doesn't end when her child or children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you will begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children. It's about providing for them and shaping them into the people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. It won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know. Dad. God. Damn. What the hell? Mary Ann was pregnant in 1992. Yeah, so... Before she even got here. Mm-hmm. Before us. What? <gasps> Do we have a long lost sibling out oh, there? Oh, I somewhere? thought that they were it's insinuating possible, it was them. Oh. She could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Oh, yeah, shit. You're right. Oh, Do shit. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. This is getting crazy. We're all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Luga Barks. This is getting crazy. What is going on here? Okay, what now? This, this just lit up, so I think- What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? It's like a time frame type thing. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Yeah. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. So do we start with, you know, the past to the present? Like, she started here. That's the gold lady's castle. Mm-hmm. Then I'm guessing... She went here. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely. This here? looks like a dinner party with the old ba some then sort here? of clock. Then there. This is the princess's hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe it's broken. Hmm. Maybe she went some there sort of instead. Then here. This looks like a dinner party with then the. There. This is the princess's damn it. Why is nothing happening? Because I'm doing the wrong order, Tyler. That's why. Here? This is the princess's house. And then here. This looks I don't like remember a dinner when this... party with the old bear and the very old beef. Oh we did it. Okay. Yes. What's in there? Another uh, letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, oh, sure no. looks like it could be. Oh my god, is this going to be really heavy? 
A princess is lost. Once upon a time in an ancient deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She had made it through the woods into that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life, a splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate flight from the mad hunter. The trees tore the rucksack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could, could cause it to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window, where sun would catch on its surface to shine and wink. The princess would stare for hours at the tiara, marveling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing its every surface to be sure it shone as brightly as it possibly could. Then she would pluck it up, place it upon her head, and walk the woods, feeling somehow more complete. Because what, after all, was a princess without a crown? Every night she would place it upon its pillow, give it a quick kiss, and go to bed. On her way, she would pause and glance back to be sure it was still there. She hated to be separated from it, but she knew it was safest on the pillow while she slept. One night, the princess woke to a raging storm. The wind howled against the walls, rattling the windows in their panes, fearing a gust might burst open a window and blow the tiara to the ground. She plucked it from its pillow and brought it to bed with her. All through the night, she held the tiara close, and in the morning, she woke to find herself still cradling it. Storm had, pa er, had passed, and the princess relaxed. The day was the same as any other, though she perhaps gave the tiara an even more thorough cleaning, grateful as she was that nothing had gone wrong. That night, she placed the tiara upon its pillow, gave it a quick kiss, and went to bed, pausing her way to be sure it was still there. Is the tiara the sibling that they might have had? Did she have a miscarriage? In the morning, she woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong. In the living room, the tiara lay upon the ground, broken, dull, and faded. Nothing else in the room had changed. The pillow was exactly where she had left it. The window was closed. There had been no storm, no wind, no sign that anything at all could have gone amiss. Only the bro blah blah blah. <laughs> Only the broken tiara mute upon the ground. She picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry. But though she tried to fix it, fix and to polish it, it was gone beyond repair when no shine left. The princess held the tiara through the day and through the next night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, she looked outside and her gaze fixed on a sapling. She remembered how the sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the frozen, unforgiving earth. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a, wa a wan... A wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That has to be insinuating she had a miscarriage. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. It makes sense now. That's so yeah. sad. She got pregnant. With whose kid, though? And she ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. Their poor mom. But then the baby died. <laughs> Their poor mom. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on, but when it looked like we were gonna be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her, and now I do. Yeah. She went we through still a lot. Haven't seen what's in that chest. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So, 
How do we open it? I don't know. What's the that? The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap That's my a head tiara. around it. Tiara. What is all this? Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. No. That's not true. Here, the secret keeper. Hiding is secrets it? in the oh, clouds. Oh yeah, it is. It is true. Oh my god, we have all of these. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. Oh, we missed one. The these are all the ones that we found. The forest, obviously. Oh my god. There you go, stalwart moose. That's cool. Back in your pond, big frog. I missed... Oh, I missed that one. Shit. I was so close to having them all, wasn't I? Oh, wait, never mind, because, like, what's over here? There's a lot going on over here. That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. I missed a couple. Uh, mad hunter. I'm always on the princess's trail. The moon hag's got to be imprisoned in her lake. Yeah, okay, I missed three of them. That's kind of a nice little way to, to look at that. Or to All see right. that. right, should be easy enough. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, was there any indication on this, though? I don't understand. Um, how would we figure that out? The tiara story. I mean, was there something about this tiara story that I missed? No, I don't see anything. Leave. There she finally found happiness. Oh. Oh, there's where she finally found happiness. Let's examine this. I wasn't paying attention to these symbols, but... Luca! I do see a symbol over here that looks familiar, right? Pelican, there's the stars. Let's let's see again. I don't think that's what it is. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Where did you get these from? Oh, there they are. Okay, O L E. I did not notice that, guys. Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. Relax, what? we got no. it. You don't we... want to try and figure out what all this means? Oh. I'm so done with her riddles. I am too, but we've got this one, Tyler. Like, we just got it. L and E. That's it. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. Did I put it in the wrong order? F. I did. So it's L. L. E. O. Shit. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. L. E. O. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We need to know what's going on. <gasps> we did it. Yes. We did it. Exciting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... This is kind of scary. Did it just get darker in here? Yes.
dear Allison Ollie. and Ollie. She, uh, she noticed. We write stories to understand and be I understood. But what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Oh, that's where the, their um, brother or sister is buried. You see the flowers underneath that tree near the rock. Is that? Leo Ronan. Oh my god. He was born. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't oh. she tell us any of this? Oh, that's heartbreaking. I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Yeah. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. She wanted it's them better to we find know it. what happened, even even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Aww, they're Come poor on. Mom. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. There's nothing else left in there. A baby blanket. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. Is there anything else? He was so young. Oh, that is so sad. But, 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 how did he die? The very old beavers repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm, and the animals help her fix it. Yeah, what did they do to fix it again? Oh, dear God. Index. Beaver fixes the house. Um, the house was still standing, but it was da badly damaged. Storm had blown shingles off the roof and planks off the walls and even bent a post upon which the house stood. Okay. I'm, just, I'm gonna see if I can just skim through this. Um, help the roof. Bent support post. Um, bent the other way. So we have a roof and a bent post. Planks off the walls. Let's see. Plank off the wall. She fixed the planks that were blown the off roof. the walls. Huh. She the fixed post. the roof shingles. She slapped the post with. All right. <laughs> yeah. We did it. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Dear Mary Ann, you cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you, so I thought I'd have a better chance doing this in a letter. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I'll keep my melancholic rambling short and sweet. I want to thank you with all my heart for taking care of me for these past few months. I can't even imagine how exhausting it must have been for you to look after a sick old lady when you also have two small children at home. I know you want me to keep fighting this disease and hoping for recovery, but it's always been a great strength of mine to know when it's time to let go, and that time has come. I'd like to ask you for one last favor. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front ever since his father died, but I know he's in pain. I would be so much more at peace knowing he still has family. Maybe he could teach the kids how to fish. He loves spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth and the peace you brought to my life. Give the kids a kiss for me, will you? Carol. Oh, Marianne has has literally experienced so much grief and loss. All right. The crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Okay. Well, let's see if we can figure this out real fast. Um... Bear and the Princess Frog earns Goblin's Ice. Uh, and the Goblin's Trick. No. Pelican. Meet the Ice Troll. Trick the Muskrat. Moose Teaches. Oh, shit. I... Hold on. 
Crafty Goblin's Good Deeds. Oh, okay. Okay, so... We save old beaver. There is that. They help the beaver. They help fix the beaver dam. Um, I think they, they did help the frog, actually. Didn't they? You know, you guys are probably like, why don't you read the stories? But there's like so many. Moose teaches them. Oh yeah, how to fish. Oh, with a scratch, feed, hug, drop the beehive. Let's go ahead and see. Bear's big paws. The goblins save. No, no, no. We tricked the muskrat. That doesn't seem good. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. I don't think... I'm just pressing they all of the them. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Or not. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> or not. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What's this one? How to jump to his feet and dance as he swatted. Um, please help, my kid is stuck. I saw the whole thing. Good for helping others. Okay, that's doesn't seem like that's it. Or not. They removed a thorn from the. F or not. Huh. They had to give nut. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch. Maybe not. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Wait. They removed a thorn from the frog. Actually, I'm not sure. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Or not. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Okay. Oops. Maybe not. Um. They help fix the beaver dam. Or not. Or not. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Okay, apparently it is a moose, bear, and princess. I wait. literally looked through that book. And did they not get any indication crying. of that. I really thought the beaver was part Nailed of it. it. I don't know. I had to look it up. It was just kind of a little bit much. Our lives would so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. Pelican Cross is a specialty gift boutique located near the O'Shea Glacier catering to... Oh, channel. Brr, brr, brr. Okay. Um, this business plan is prepared to obtain financing the amount of 20 grand to purchase inventory and to help cover expenses of first year of operations co-owner and up and coming artist Mary Ann Ronan. Okay, so they would have been together in business, huh? But that didn't work out. We know that. Oh, there's another one? I'm so the sick of these freaking the puzzles. Princess. 
I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her Old again? Bear's Why don't we open up the... All right. The bear and the princess. Um, let's see. Uh, middle of such a story, understood. Look and check. All right, so. Huh. Fresh salmon. Cut salmon. It's over here. A newly bloomed bluebell. Yes. What was this? Some roses, maybe. Nope. Actually, I'm Put not sure. Guys, I'm totally. I'm just cheating. Because a handful of ripe berries. These store like there's nice. too many of them. The puzzles have gotten yeah. out of control, yeah, and I'm, I'm done. <laughs> All just right. Couldn't let go. I want. I want. I want to read these. Sorry for the note under the door like a prison inmate. You okay? I stopped by and rang a couple times this week, but you didn't answer. I could see the light in the hayloft, so I figured you were in, but didn't want to talk. I hope I didn't ruin everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You're strong and kind, and you know so much it's hard for me to know how to keep up. I guess all that went to my to my head but i want you to know i got the message and i'm going to get out of your hair now and there doesn't need to be any bad feelings we can pass in the street and say hello or not it's okay p.s i noticed your car was leaking so i put some sealant in there you might need to take it to the shop though let me know if you want me to come with you because sometimes these guys try to rip you off if not no big deal sam was a little overbearing she can do things on her own i mean he loved her and so like of course he did but she she's more than capable the crafty goblin's loot that's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. And you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Yeah. Uh, eggs. I'm pretty sure Spoon. they stole some eggs. What if they took some spoons? And what was the other one? Totally cheating. And fruit. <laughs> Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? There's too many That's stories, it. guys. It's too many. I always wondered where that drawing went. You're she the said best it was her favorite, the and then one day it just disappeared. The prettiest princess. Aww. Okay. Is that it? Please, God. Please, God, let me out of here. Let's go. You really want to go? Yes. You sure we've seen everything? Yeah, we've seen everything. Either way, I'm tired I'm of these Marianne puzzles, all right? I don't know how she lived her life with a bunch of puzzles. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Can't handle it no more. I just want to hang out with Tyler and Allison. Oh, the tree with the rock. Oh, this is where? Oh, that's so sad. This is the spot. I can't believe he's been down there this whole time. We had no he idea. We played Compass and North Star here. I wish she would have just told us. She tried to tell us. She did, actually. She told she that tried story. To tell us in her own Marianne kind of way. The stories. Yeah. What are you thinking? I feel overwhelmed. That we just found out we have a brother, and at the same time that we'll never get to meet him. Oh. It's a lot to process. Poor Marianne. Come on. Let's keep going. The Mad Hunter has to be that one dude. Has to be. But does that mean that that's their dad? Who Marianne was arguing with on the dock. Yeah, let's do it. It's gotta be. We need both of you. There we go. Almost. Oh, I don't... Who is that? <gasps> Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had oh to be. Oh my fucking god. Lisa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. 
That's oh what she my, didn't want to tell us. Oh my god. God, Marianne I and didn't Tom? even... I know. Not even a second. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, what? Call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? Oh my god, that secret. piece of absolute shit. Tom, it's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Oh my god. My mind is blown. That is their dad. What garbage. What garbage. So he cheated on Tessa. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I really thought it was the other Let guy. Take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did. Mm. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Real piece of work is what you are. They should be a little scared. Maybe you should have a weapon or something. Clearly Marianne was scared. I'm scared. Oh no. Mm. You can see it now in his Kids, face. Listen. You're our father. Oh my god, you can see it now. Yes. Wow. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was mm. rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You disgust me. Coward. You tried to burn down our barn. You let Marianne drown! You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. You, so you threatened to take her, to her kids? Let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. Bullshit. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. You left. You tried to burn down our barn, you let Marianne drown. What's happening? What should we do now? About Marianne. Hey. You hearing me? Yep. Sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. <laughs> Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that Yeah, time? I don't believe him for I don't know, Allie. absolute shit. I'd rather not think about it. Is that it? What should we do, though? So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made. One way or another. Um... You gotta make this right. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. What? Excuse me? Bullshit! You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. Please, Tessa can't know. Oh, she gon' know. I said kill her. I don't care. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... You're an... Uh, she never said anything. You're an imbecile. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. Unhinged, but you slept with her? You preyed on her. And you abandoned her. That was convenient Both. for you, huh? 
You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. Ugh! And she'd been so many places and done so many things. You just had to have the her for yourself, I always huh? thought I would have. Cheating piece of shit. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Mm. Look, I made mistakes. Mm -mm. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Bullshit. Why? I'm gonna tell everybody in town. No. Tessa knows. <laughs> Marianne's dead. There's you no point left in her to hiding it anymore. You try to burn my barn down. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Yep. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? So what? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. Don't matter to me. That we already night, told Eddie. I came out here because I was worried about your mother. I don't believe him. Like creepily snooping and wearing that? I don't know. Something's not right here. You're the mad hunter. Why do they do it? They made me do it. They made me do it. Why did they show it? This is his fault. This is his fault. saw all of this and you didn't do anything. said something Please. done anything you stood there and you watched And you fucking left. She fell in the water. You could have you could have saved her. This dude is such a piece of absolute poop coward. You're a coward. You disgust me. No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. <clears throat> His name will be all but clear, but you... You clearly have no idea how You'll stubborn I am. You'll be a killer. Oh, fuck what off. Uncle say? This guy sucks. And this Michael? This guy sucks. Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. I don't care. We're leaving this town anyways. Don't touch her. <laughs> yes, Tyler, get him. Get him. Your dad, their dad no, sucks. Right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone and never come back. That's right. You tell him. Oh my 
goodness. Oh my goodness. He's a coward. Mm. That would suck to know your genes came from Allie, that, dude. You okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Of course it got to her. Did you? What if Aww. he's right? No. I've been having all these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. No, we and have now, to tell. When I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head? Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. Doesn't... I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. I mean, I personally, I don't think that she was going to kill them. I really don't. But... Yeah. I don't think, I think it was a misunderstanding. I think it's something that they told themselves that they wanted to believe that she was. They're doing it together. I don't think so. I don't think she was actually gonna hurt she them. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. I don't think so. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. I mean, after everything we learned about her, why would then she do that? We're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because no. the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose. You gotta live with it, okay? Believe Tom's Virgin Mary Ann did not threaten Tyler. Stick to your memory, Mary Ann threatened Tyler. I wanna believe Tyler so I'm bad. I'm going to kill you! 
Because it's my brother. I'm going to kill I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Believing Tom's version, like, almost hurts me, you know? Because Tom is such a piece of shit. But... I think that Tyler did have, like, this... <sighs> what was she saying? She was saying some stuff in the barn. They made me do it. I want to stick with my brother through and through. I really don't think Mary Ann would hurt us. I really don't think so. I feel like it was a misunderstanding. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh no. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, please. No, don't do this. <laughs> What? She was going to kill herself. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Just herself. You interrupted her and we we got confused. That's why she gave them all that ice Are cream. Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. Me to find. It was her way of, of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. <laughs> like, it wouldn't add up for her to... To hurt them it just it just wouldn't like she said that whole attic is a space that was dedicated for them to find at some point oh man these poor kids hey peep what I just found downstairs what do you think would have aged well, or just gone bad. Aww. I mean, they both have to live with it together. Where are you at right now? But... I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. Yeah. We freaked out. We weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... You didn't know. There's no way to know. She had a shotgun. I killed her. Tyler was screaming. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. No. What? Seriously? Did I make I the wrong know. choice? But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be but... better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? No. Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I... I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us, us. 
Aww. Tyler. The like the good memories. Was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag. But she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. Hmm. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess. Thank God. From the mad I was so worried they were gonna like turn against each other in like pain. Sometimes pain does that to people. Well, we kind of got our own, uh, our own answer. I wonder what, like, the other side to that is, but I definitely don't believe the other side of it. I don't think that Marianne was trying to kill them at all. I just don't. Um, but I do, like, wonder what would have happened had we chose that route, you know? Is that it? Oh my gosh. Six months later. Oh, it's beautiful. The snow is melting. <gasps> There's greenery! Exciting. What? You cut your hair? Tyler! <sighs> no! I loved his hair! Why would you cut it off like that? Because it was like wavy and like curly. It's good stuff. I guess he wanted to change. Look, I'm good to go. But not happy about it, Tyler. I'm sorry. I'm just not. <coughs> hmm. Now he looks like um Elijah Wood. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. Mm -hmm. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep. Gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. Um, how's Juno? Juno? I always say that wrong. How are you? Heard about Tom? How are you? How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. Like, I guess that option, you know, though, made it so that they the didn't house really tell anybody head. what happened. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really oh, needed weird. me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to like, keep I feel like we should have called out Bellows Tom. Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. All right. Have you heard about Tom? Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Oh? Uh, yes, I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Hey, yeah, that's great. How's Juno? Juno. And full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. 
See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Where's that? Why we leave this on the floor? Hmm. Weird. With this laptop, we're just gonna leave stuff here? Michael, must be relieved to finally be done with that place. No doubt, if traffic's not too bad, I should be back at our place around 4 p.m. Our place? Oh, no. Okay. Cute. Let's get the F out of here. I don't want to stay in this house no more. Let's look at these last remainders of things. It's time to let it go. Take those. Yeah, we don't want to leave photos. What's this? Hey, goblins. Word in town is you guys finally sold the house. I came by tonight to help you fix what needs to be fixed, but there was nobody home. Are you gone already? Things change so fast these days. Anyway, you know where to find me if you want me to fix things. If you're still in town, I mean. It's getting late, and I'm pretty tired. Oh, and I'm sorry for acting like the stupid ass I am. Everywhere I look, I think about what used to be. I've been trying to do better, but I think it might be too late for an old bear like me. Not sure if this will reach you. It's getting late. Call me if you're still around. Be safe, Sam. P.S. I wish it was as easy to fix everything as a boat. Aww. I'm saying. What is that? I don't need all this trash. Send picture to Allison. Of this room? Is she gonna want to know? Like, that this... What? That's kind of weird. I don't know why she'd want to see mom's room. I think their bedroom would be smart. Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> That's cute. Let's go to their bedroom. And take a picture. Because I feel like that's something that they'll want to know. Or have. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon? What? Purple oh, right. Tyler, are you alright, there? She takes back so fast. <laughs> Goblins. That's cute. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait. Can we take a picture of this? No, we can't. Okay, okay, let's go. It's time to close that chapter, you know, for them. Both of them. I'm ready. They must be super ready. Let's get out of here. Can I lock the door? Are we just gonna leave the door open? I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. What? What other stuff? What are you talking about? This all says examine. Huh. Tessa. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. Dear Tyler and Allison, I'm writing this letter from Juno International Airport where I will soon board a plane to Manila on a missionary assignment. I apologize for not coming in person to say goodbye, but I was called to make this decision alone to carry it out on my own as well. I'm sure you understand that sometimes we must follow without question the prompting of the spirit. I will not be coming back to Dallas Crossing for some time. Before I go, there's still something I feel I must confess to you both. Perhaps because I have never found the strength to confront my husband. I have never been able to forgive Mary Ann for her betrayal. Truly did love you both like my own children. I always tried to forgive your mother for her unapologetic lifestyle. But when I discovered that you were the fruit of her affair with my Thomas, I wanted her to suffer like I was suffering, and I brought down on your house the wrath I never dared allow to unfold in mine. I've been deeply ashamed all these years, and I'm surprised how much better I feel with it out in the open. The greatest thing about truth is the peace it brings to your life. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. You have taught me once again how love will bring you further in life. Something that Mary Ann had been trying to show me all along. Take care of each other always. In his steps, Tessa. Oh, I'm glad that she... 
she like kind of came to Man. terms with that. Seeing it empty is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. What else do I need? Like I examined that, but it doesn't want me to do anything else. Do I need to go outside? There's no, why would I need to go outside? I want to get away from this damn house. I've been here too long. It's time. Yeah, you can lean and look out over the porch, but that's not what I want to do. I don't know. Can we just like jump in the car and go? my keys I don't guys I'm confused was there something more in the kitchen no what about the bathroom why can't I take my laptop Take it. There we go. I was about to say. Uh, I don't think anything else was ours, right? There we go. Okay, I was about to say. What the heck is going on? I'm getting hungry, Tyler. Need to eat dinner. <laughs> and I want to see where, like, Michael and Allison after six well, months. This is goodbye for real, I guess. This is good for them. This place needed to be sold. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but... Oh. I just wanted to say... Well, you were right about grief. About it going in circles. Yeah. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog. And my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Hmm. Steps in the right direction. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Oh, they're all making progress. Was that it? I think that was it. It was! Man, this game was really, really good. There was a lot of, like, a lot of important topics that we all needed, especially, like, grief, having a, um, positive... Oh, shit. just here let me skip okay first let's read these and then we'll talk about it Tyler and Allison Allison was grateful they completed Mary Ann's puzzle 
18% forced to chest open? Holy shit. Allison was influenced by Tom's testimony. 62% believed in Tom's testimony. The twins trusted their bond and kept their voice. Aw, good. Eddie was relieved that Allison accepted responsibility in the murder. Confessed the truth. Cool. Sam felt understood by Allison. 70% listened to Sam's story. Yeah, I mean, like, of course. Michael felt closer to Tyler. 68% kissed Michael. Yes. Uh, cool. If you or anyone you know are struggling with suicidal thoughts or experience an emotional crisis, you can find help using these resources. Aww. Thank you, Don't Nod. It hits home. So I think that, in and of itself, kind of shows us that the ending that I chose was the ending. That she was um, trying to commit suicide. All right, guys, it's gonna be it for Tell Me Why. We finally finished it, and this chapter was especially heavy. We got all of the truth to Mary Ann, to what was going on with the twins, to who their father was. It, honestly, it was super heavy. It was super heavy. Mary Ann was just, she just experienced a life full of grief and loss and hardships and struggles, which is so sad. It's so sad, and in order to try to fix that in some way, you know, in her mind, she felt like taking her own life was the best option, which it never is, by the way. It's just tragic. And then it kind of also goes into showing how Tyler and Allison's memories, like sometimes your preconceived ideas of like what you want something to be isn't always the truth. Like Tyler wanted to hate his mom. He wanted someone to blame for feeling a certain way as a kid, you know, like going through the process of transitioning and stuff like that. The truth is that Marianne supported him all along and he had to kind of come to terms with that as well. Allison on the other hand, she just kept running from the truth because, you know, she killed her mother and she didn't want to confront that and accept that and, and feel that pain, but in the long run, not accepting that is worse pain. And then we had Sam, and Sam is tragic, you know, because he's kind of showing us what grief can do to you if you don't allow yourself to process it and allow yourself to take steps forward and to to heal and like truly heal and that shit is really hard it's really hard i mean kind of like what tyler was saying grief is a cycle you can keep going in circles or at some point you know you can start to have those memories and have like a lightness to them you know like sad losing someone but it can also still be like a good memory but poor sam he he never really truly let go and tom tom is just a piece of crap you know like he was just a coward all along he could have saved marianne 100 and he didn't but at least in some way we got the truth about their mom and what he saw and it it opened both tyler and allison's eyes i think this game was really cool because it touched on topics that are hard to digest, you know? You don't see them quite so often, topics like suicide. We had a positive trans lead, which is fucking awesome. That was really cool, and to be able to experience that. We touched on a lot of mental health issues and struggles with life and letting people in and, and things like that. Things you just don't, you know, they have to be done in a way, like in a specific way to make it work and to, to be able to to absorb that information you know because they are such heavy topics hopefully you guys enjoyed the journey i'm sorry that towards the end the puzzles i was like just done with it i was totally done but yeah i i really enjoyed it so i hope you guys did too make sure to check out the links in the description leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching guys